Hi, I'm Johan Damen and I want to draw your attention to our paper jamming on the deck. This is the paper we submitted to ACRypt and it got happily accepted and it will be presented by one of our co-authors, Gilles Van Asch, on uh, Wednesday at 8.50 in uh, the Ballroom B in the session on Symmetric Crypto. It's a joint work with um, old-time collaborator uh, Ronnie Van Keer of the Ketchak team, uh, Seth Hoffert, who also uh, is in our team since a few years and has always great ideas, uh, bachelor student Norika Bakuetti, who was at Radboud and did an internship and whose uh, internship led to this work, and last but not least, Gilles Van Asch, uh, who will uh, actually present the paper. Okay, what is it about? It's about refactoring uh, symmetric crypto. So let's take a look at a metaphor. A metaphor for the field of symmetric crypto is this sea landscape. So we have two worlds actually, and the first world is above the water, and that's a world where everything is nice and clean, and we uh, the, the world base itself on ideal primitives. And these ideal primitives, they're represented by the water surface. So the water surface is nice and smooth. And uh, if that is the case, then we can do nice things above the water, like uh, provable, make provable, provably secure uh, schemes. And these schemes, for their provable security, they base themselves on uh, some assumptions on the uh, water surface, so on the primitives. And the primitives are typically a block cipher is like dominantly the, pro, uh, the block cipher. But under the water there's another world and that is the world of cryptanalysis, of people that try to find weaknesses in block ciphers, try to specify attacks uh, or try to prove properties of block ciphers. And these are two different worlds and it's a nice interface and this interface has given us a lot of uh, nice modes and also nice uh, block ciphers, and it kind of divides the world of uh, symmetric crypto into nice parts. But there are some constructions that do not fit this nice image. And uh, one such construction is something uh, I go back to uh, my work with uh, Vincent Reimen. Uh, so we did, as you know, we did together the AES, but later we did some other work. And one of these other things was Pelican Mac. And Pelican Mac is a, uh, uh, a Mac function based on uh, AES, Reindahl, that uh, only requires four rounds per uh, additional block of plain text, so per additional block of message to, to, to Mac, and so it's about two and a half times faster than AES. So the problem of this construction is you ca it cannot be reduced to the security of AES, to the PRP security of AES, but you have to really do crypt analysis. But the uh, the gain is that you get a much more efficient Mac function. Another example is the monkey duplex. So monkey duplex, in general, the duplex can be proven uh, uh, secure if you assume a random permutation, if you believe that such a thing exists. It's a kind of a controversial issue. But monkey duplex, not anymore, because you use different number of rounds and there's no way you can model this underlying permutation as being ideal. Uh, the monkey duplex is serial. A uh, more parallel uh, function is Farfalle, so it's a construction to build uh, a function with variable length input and variable length output based on uh, a permutation, in this case uh, symbolized by F. And it has also several instances, Kravat and Zoof. Kravat based on the Kachak F permutation and uh, Kachak P permutation and Zoof based on uh, Zudu, a more recent permutation is a bit more lightweight and all these things they require for their security grip analysis so we thought maybe it's a good idea to kind of put the border elsewhere and put the border at a, a level where uh, the underlying primitive can handle variable length messages and make one function like that and build modes on top of that and this interface is a deck function so a deck function is something that takes as input uh, a sequence of strings of all arbitrary length and generates an output string also of arbitrary length. And using this DAC function, we can build very efficient modes and these modes can be proven uh, secure with uh, reasonably simple proofs, uh, assuming that the underlying DAC function is hard to distinguish from a random oracle. And that is actually what the paper is about. That's also what the talk is about. I hope we will show up in large numbers. Thank you.